Hello YouTube, this is my first prototype of a line following robot. Excuse me, my throat. It will start right now. Uh, it is based on the Aldinio. Of course it will get its own PCB. And I want to make it in the shape of a Formula 1 car. And uh, as you see, uh, this is just a basic test. It will have a code with an OLED display, OLED display. And you will be able to adjust the parameters uh, on the display on the robot itself without having to connect it to your computer and uh, re-upload the code again. So you can adjust all settings uh, while you're out there and performing uh, races and whatnot. This might seem slow to you right now because uh, those are 6 volt motors run by only 3.7 volt LiPo battery. So I haven't decided yet uh, how to power it if I'm going to use a 7.4 volt LiPo and uh, adjust it down to 6 volts or if I'm going to boost the 1S LiPo up to 6 volts I am not sure yet but it will be a line following robot uh, it will be all finished up so you just have to turn it on put it on a line and let it go uh, what you see on the table here with those uh, traces or tracks uh, this is actually downloaded from the internet from focus I hate my camera come on what's the problem unbelievable it's messing up the video Yes, robotsquare.com and this is the tile type 4 and there are different shapes and lines and whatnot. There are I think 34 of them and you can easily print them out on your printer preferably laser printer, it's much easier and faster and uh, you can stick them together as you want like I did what you see here I also have a different shape here like this and uh, you can do all kinds of stuff before I was gonna use a black uh, electrical tape but that just is a mess so anyhow this is just a first code that I tried not the first code but the first one that works and uh, like I said it will be a different code with a OLED display on which you can adjust all the parameters like the speed of the motors of course this is a PID follower and uh, you will be adjusting all features and all items that you need on the menu this is again running on 3.7 volt only and it's a 6 volt motor so basically this can go twice as fast plus I think I have it uh, really tuned down in the code from the speed so it can go much faster and it will go much faster than this and let me show you real quick the guts of it. So here's the LiPo. And here you can see my... Actually this is now the OLED Max PCB. Which I just uh, soldered some female pin headers to it. Let me get the light one second. This is just too dark. This might be too much now. So anyhow, here you see my PCB, 
the green one is just to hold the motors oops I'm out of the screen and this is a ready made uh, infrared sensor I will be of course using single ones on the PCB it will have the basic shape of a Formula 1 car and uh, this is just a test to get the code running and see what's going on okay I forgot and this is the motor driver which will be the TBN 6620 or something like that I can't remember out of my head right now here I have a single one that I ordered also so I have its size let me see if we can read it it's upside down So it's TB6612F. I'm sorry about the confusion. There you go. So this is the chip that's on here also. And uh, it works nicely. And I think it will be plenty of uh, capable of driving this robot. Uh, the robot will also have a code with a maze solving code on it So you will be able to solve mazes too and uh, I am amazed <laughs> about that code How it is it's once you know how it works is so simple, but it does solve the maze really it does it works Well, I won't say anyhow <laughs> It seems like I'm saying it too often but uh, this was the intro uh, I got these wheels from let me make a little uh, advertisement for these guys because I got them from okay now I have to find the catalog there you go okay guys this is free advertisement for you and I ah, there you go so and uh, I did not know they are based in Turkey so it took me like three days to get the wheels and I was gonna order them from the internet from across the globe and wait for weeks and yet I have this company right next to Bulgaria with all the parts you need and here you can see the wheels those are really really high traction you can't get them to slip at all they're like really not sticky to the fingers but sticky to the table like crazy so thank you to them and they also sent me some I don't know why I'm making advertisements for them but uh, I guess uh, if a company is good I do make advertisements and they sent me all kinds of stickers I might use them somewhere there you go and uh, they're right next to me country wise <laughs> uh, the PCB will be made uh, by pcbway.com it will be black with gold accents actually I was thinking of a red PCB because I like the red uh, OLED decade that came out very nice and but uh, since the wheels are red too or orange red uh, I thought it will not make enough contrast so that's the reason why I make the PCB black with gold accents the robot might even have a sound to it which will change depending if it goes in a curve or on a straight line but uh, I will see if I can get it uh, to run with the code that I have well this is it for now this will be my first uh, robot project I having it on my mind for a long time and finally got around to it first I ordered the uh, small motors and that took like a half a eternity to arrive so but now I got the, at least this thing ready to test and uh, the PCB is next 
Thanks for watching and take care everybody.